All right, welcome back. In this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through doing a studio recording uh, for your Windows computer. And I have a couple of different options as far as uh, recording programs and then kind of an optimal setup. So uh, let me get out of my presentation here and I'll switch over. And actually, before I do that, I want to show you a couple of things. First of all, this is just a search on Amazon of USB mics. And so you can see that there is a wide range from $30 to $40 to this one is used $190. I think it's around $200. Yeah, $215. That's a, a Blue Yeti which is a very good microphone. Then you can see you have like $16 ones here. So there's a wide range of prices as far as you know USB microphones go. And obviously the higher the cost, usually the better the quality. I recommend these blue microphones. I have a blue Snowball actually. Let's see how much that one is going for these days. This one is seventy dollars. So you know, if you um, if you're looking for a, a good uh, entry level, a little bit higher than entry level mic, that's a very good mic. These blue microphones, these blue Yetis, uh, are personal favorites. Blue makes very good microphones, and these Yetis are very good. Uh, Samson is also a, another uh, company that does very good. I actually have this uh, connected to my uh, iPad. So if I do recording on my iPad. Uh, I can use this uh, Go mic here, but you can just kind of scroll down through here. You can see, you know, a, a cheap one like this will work just fine. Here's another blue microphone. This one's a little bit cheaper. I think it's around $40. Yep, $40. And that's one that this designed for laptop, so it's not, you know, the full, full kahuna. All right, so here's a couple of other options here as well. Instead of just a standard USB microphone, uh, you can go with a headset. And these are nice because they fit on top of your head and wherever you go, they go. And they have uh, wired ones um, or wireless. It really ba is based on personal preference. Me, uh, whenever I'm making Skype calls, stuff like that, I'm weird. I like to stand up and walk around. Um, so that's an advantage of these microphones and actually I'll show you mine here real fast This is what mine looks like and it's got a little boom microphone that pops down like that And it's got a little USB receiver that fits in the computer and it's Mac or Windows capable And then it just kind of fits on your head like this You have the boom so you can get up and walk around and stuff like that So that's kind of how this one works Um and I highly recommend this. I, I run it on my backup machine back behind me so I can get up and walk around, things like that. So that's a look at mine real fast. So you can see some of the options. You know, you have a whole bunch of different options and, and really it's based on, you know, how much you want to spend. The other thing I wanted to show you was webcams. And Logitech is one of the companies that I highly recommend for webcams. Um, they do a very good job of making them good quality cameras but also inexpensive to run and operate. Um, so what you're looking for is you're looking for at least a 720p webcam. And you can see these are 1080p here, 1080p. So again, you can see the differences. This one's 240. I don't think you're going to need that much. This one has a remote control. <laughs> again, I, <laughs> I don't think, I think that one's a little bit of an overkill. But, you know, you can see anywhere from $20, uh, you know, upward. So it, it all kind of depends on how much you want to spend, how good you want your video to look, and things like that. All right, so let me jump over to my Windows computer here real fast, and I'll show you a couple of different options as far as webcam recording, studio recording goes. Your first option is going to be Camtasia. The biggest reason for that is because it's going to be a comfortable user face in a program that you probably already have from the screen recording segment. So uh, it makes a very good option. You can just click it on right here, do the rest of your screen recording, and this enables you to change between full on and then, you know, showing your screen just by, you know, the ease of switching the timeline around. So that's one option, um, and it is a very good option. The other option is uh, Windows Movie Maker. And the reason I picked this is because it's free, and it either ships on your Windows computer. I believe it ships on Windows 7 and down. Windows 8 has its own video player, which is kind of strange. I'm still not getting used to Windows 8. I'm a Mac user, so it, it kind of takes 
takes me a little bit to get used to all their full screen apps and everything else. This is Windows Movie Maker. You can get it from this URL up here, or again, you can just do a simple Google search for it, Windows Movie Maker. Um, and you get this download option here, and it downloads the Windows Essential package. And what that does is it installs Mail, uh, it installs Notepad, it installs um, Photos, and then the Windows Movie Maker video platform. So the reason I picked this is it's super basic. Um, it's going to enable you to keep it simple, but it has the all the options that you need. So whenever you boot it up, it's going to look like this here. Uh, so this is what it looks like. You can see here you have a whole bunch of different options. You're going to have some some transition options and things like that. So uh, to record a webcam video, all you have to do is hit that icon right there. Hit the record button. And you can see the timer down here is going to start timing. So you can just go through and say three, two. Hi, my name's Andy. I'm from the JJ Fast team. And what I want to do for you today is I want to teach you about how to shoot videos properly, how to look in the camera and how to look good, make those videos as successful as possible. And then you can take and you can go uh, to a screen recording and show your PowerPoint presentation and everything else. So now you're done. You hit stop here. And it's going to prompt you to save it. And so I'm just going to save it in my downloads folder here as just the default name. Save it. It's going to pull it into my timeline. You can also see my microphone is popping up there. And you'll notice that I did three, two, and then silence. And so what that does is that enables me to be able to see it easily. And I'm probably a little bit more used to it. But you can see this is me talking before. And then you can almost see three, two, and then a moment of silence. And then at the end, I did the same thing. I stared into the camera for just a second or two to give a transition time to get on and off the screen. So now if I just want to cut this here, I can just right click and hit split. Again, this is just like all the other applications we've had. Then I'll go through and I'll hit delete. And then I'll pull my cursor over here as full as possible. And then you can take, and so you can see that silence error. So I'll leave it up for just a second. I'll do the same thing here. I'll right click and I'll hit split. And now my video is ready to go. Hi, my name's Andy. I'm from the JJ Fast team. And what I want to do for you today is I want to teach you about how to shoot videos properly, how to look in the camera and how to look good, make those videos as successful as possible. And usually what I would do is I would uh, move the mic down so it's out of the frame so you can't see my pop filter there. But, you know, you get the uh, you get the theory. Then you have, you know, different uh, options up here. You can add an intro to it. And uh, a couple of transitions, Hi, my name's things like that. And it'll automatically play it for you and show you how to do it. It'll automatically play it for you and show you how to insert it. So then you can come through and you can add transitions. Hi, my here. name's Andy. So you can see that, that this looks like Hi, a fade. Hi, my name's Andy. Hi, my name's Andy. That's my favorite. It's a fade through black. It's actually a blur fade through black. Um, so that just kind of brings it on. Um, brings it on screen a little bit nicer and cleaner. Hi, my name's Andy. I'm from the JJ Fast. It's possible. And so now my video is good and ready to go. So I'm just going to go back home here and you can see all your sharing options. You can actually upload this straight to YouTube. Um, or you can just save it as a movie. So since I'm going to be taking this and throwing it in Camtasia to fix the rest to add it to the rest of my video I'm just going to come through here and export it out you'll notice it does it in a MPEG 4 H264 video file you'll notice that that's pretty much the standard anymore so then you just hit save and it's going to export that video out now it's ready for editing uh, which actually we did some basic editing here so you can kind of see how that works uh, or you can just leave it completely raw export it out as an mp4 and pull it into Camtasia or Active Presenter and edit from that platform that is how to create a studio recording video on a Windows machine and in the next video we'll switch back over to my Mac and we'll take a look at how to do it there